Okay, I've let this thing average well, the background radiation for about five minutes now. And it's on the meter set on slow, and it's on the uh, 0 0.1 scale as you can see. So if you look at the counts per minute meter on the top, uh, it, it being on the first line is equal to 20 counts per minute. So uh, currently the background radiation is reading about 20 counts per minute. I've seen it, there's 30, 40, I've seen it go as high as 50 on the background. Uh, it's currently raining out. It's uh, April 28th at 5.20 in the morning. And so I went outside with a paper towel and just uh, wiped down a plastic bin I had outside and uh, a metal lid just to soak up some rainwater. And um, well, let's see what we have here. So I, I, I folded up this paper towel, put it on a paper plate. Um, there's nothing hidden in the paper towel or anything. It's just a wet paper towel with a little dirt on it. So background was uh, peaking about 40. So now we take this pancake sensor and put it right next to the paper towel here. That's well over 100 counts per minute. And there's 200, almost. Not doing anything unusual here. Just going to rest the uh, pancake coil on there. So there we're seeing 280. Almost hitting 300. There's over 300, 320. So we have uh, 10 times over background radiation and rainwater. And when I was taking the background radiation, you put the probe sideways so that you're not reading uh, so much stuff coming from the sky, cosmic radiation, this and that. So as you can see, this is just resting on this uh, wet paper towel. There's 360. Peaking three, oh, there's 400. That is unbelievable. This is just a low pressure system that uh, came out of Iowa. I don't know what the jet stream is doing at the moment. Where it's uh, headed or anything, but this uh, I, I've checked this several times before and never really got this result. This is shocking. This being said, imagine what your um, vegetables are soaking up as rainwater. There's 420, 440. I'm not, I'm not changing anything here. There's nothing rigged about this setup here. Unbelievable. Now let me show you this. Let me take this away from the paper towel here. I mean, it's hard doing this with an iPhone, but let me open up this, open up this paper towel. 
There's nothing. There's no radioactive uh, items placed in here, basically. Here, you know what? Let's squeeze water onto the plate. Okay. We'll set it on an angle so the water collects in a corner. Unless my dirt here is highly radioactive, uh, the little bit of dirt that was sitting on top of this plastic lid. It seems to work better in the paper towel. It's all uh, concentrated in one area. Let's see what the paper towel itself reads. Tch. This is just the paper towel that I just squeezed the water out of. Oh my god. That is unbelievable. So maybe the radioactive element's uh, stuck in the paper towel because it's hitting just as high as it did before I squeezed the water out. So there's nearly 400 counts per minute in this little wet paper towel. I can assure you I did nothing to uh, throw off the results. I'll take a better video next time it rains to uh, and do everything on video to show you. So this is uh, going to be back down the background. Let me get this plate away. I need to really reset the meter to pick up background, but. Really, it takes a few minutes to uh, to build up when you have it set on slow. So now I have barely anything. It comes in spurts for some strange reason. This is just the, the probe sitting sideways, this uh, little pancake probe. This meter was just calibrated by Ludlum uh, May 21st, 2011. So your background is about 20. 20, 30 counts per minute. I'm gonna go grab this little, uh, little damp paper towel here. I'll even squeeze out the water. I'll just uh, set this next, hold this next to the probe here. It's 360, 340, unbelievable. I'll do it with a better camera where I'm not as shaky. And, uh, next time this rings. It's going to be a long summer with all this radiation falling on us. <laughs>